everybody, I'm Louie and I'm back for another track guide, this time we're around Zolder and I thought it'd be fit and appropriate if we start off in the rain. Now then, straight away we want to make sure we have all our lights on and our wipers on full so we can be seen because we don't want anyone else flying into the back of us and we want to see who's in front of us, especially in these treacherous conditions. Now then, because we're in such dangerous conditions and there's a lot of aqua playing, you want to be really careful with accelerating. Traction control will be kicking in constantly around this lap. As you can see, really struggling to fight the car there. No one tends to take too much curb as the car is more likely to slide. You really kind of want to square off the corners a bit more. Now then for the first chicane you want to make sure you actually manage to break and then we're just going to fly across it, it's the quickest and safest route, nobody needs to be going around the other way. Lining ourselves up now for the second chicane, we have to make sure we spot it, try not to understeer too much off, brake late, hit the curb, bounce across, that's it, fastest line across, that's what we're looking for. Now then, we just need to remember slowing fast down, that's even more apparent in the rain, so we're going to slowly come into the corner, taking our time, taking our time. Just going to want to find any tarmac we can, that's not the right bit of tarmac though, that leads into a little clinic of some sorts. Just going to slowly find the way back onto track, there we go, fast out. Slowly moving up again through the gears, trying not to slide on too much. Going into the final corner now, braking, turn across, try not to lose it. Don't worry, it's expected, I'm pretty sure most of the grid is going to lose it during the race if it rains like this. Okay, welcome back everybody. This time, <laughs> we're going to try and do the lap guide correctly. It's sunset around Zolder in the Aston Martin Vantage GT3, the V8 variant, so the new for 2019 car. So Zolder's quite a tight and narrow track, so getting the perfect consistent laps on here is key to doing well. So for turn one we want to break just before the bridge, turn in quite late, I turned a bit too early and had to bounce across the apex. Run out wide onto that green astroturf there, break in just before there. Rolling out wide, you can use a bit of that curb on our left there. Don't run too wide, though, there's little bumps on it. Flat out around this corner, after this corner, shifting down to third gear, almost instantly back on the accelerator. Running out wide, but not going on the gravel. Going on the gravel will completely ruin you for the next chicane, which is a prime overtaking opportunity. Breaking after the 100 meters board, second or first gear, it's, some people have different preferences, it's quite a tough one to get correct. Flat out now. All the way on this very long left hander, breaking just at the start of the rubber on the ground. Trying to really straighten out that chicane there, you can use quite a bit of the sausage curbs throughout. Flat out around this corner in the Aston Martin, not all cars can do it flat out. Breaking at the 100 meters for this really sharp right hander. Down to first gear, across the inside, running out, not too wide. Flat out now, and on this little wiggle I guess you could call it in the track there breaking just before the bridge for the final chicane heavy down to first gear over the sausage b uh, bumps again and running out wide not quite as wide as I run it's a bit risky there you go a uh, pretty decent lap at Zolder so you go everybody a lap around Zolder in the Aston Martin V8 Vantage GC3 car probably one of the best looking cars in the game at the minute I'd argue so I'm expecting tonight's race to be really close and fierce as pointed out by 93, one of the organisers. Last season, the qualifying times on Zolder were insanely close and very competitive, so hopefully we'll see a lot of the same here again today. Good luck to all the races out there.
Das ja, ich muss nur Game. Oh my god! Let's go! Welcome! Here we are! Welcome everybody! Good evening, good evening, Mr. Dowling! Mr. Mr. Dowling? No, Mr. Dowling true, is sick, true that. But Mr. Dowling is, is here, so he is here a little bit. He's in the chat. So yeah, Mr. Dowling was supposed to be here to commentate with Borak. But he's sick at the moment, so take your time, rest, rest well, and we'll see you next week, I hope. So if the sound is incorrect or whatsoever, just tell us, so we fix it. Alright. So, yeah, I'm guessing it's fine now. Yeah. Okay. Great. So, um, we've got a lot to tell you guys. Uh, Sinatra, thanks for the follow, by the way. Thank you, thank you. Um, oh yeah, I'll, all right. I'll do the uh, Let's see. So this is the practice, free practice for eight more minutes. Um, boom. We actually have practiced this track this week. And um, it was, I, I had an amazing fun, actually. Uh, it really got me back into the game. And it really got me back in, in ACC. And actually racing. I, I really liked racing again. And I really have missed that for a long, long time. Um, what about you, man? Yeah, it was fun. it was a fun experience playing with the players from the league. So yeah, it was so much fun. During the week, we practiced this map to learn about the map, learn about the cars, the new handling, and yeah, it was amazing. It was fun. We what 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 were all our uh, lap times in the beginning? Yeah, 135. 135 I guess. <laughs> and those guys were amazed that we could hit. Uh, in a few days, so 130.4 or 0.2, or so yeah, that was fun. That was so fun, and we are we are still improving. So, and if you guys want to join, and you got ACC, um, if we do a live stream or having fun at Burak, then we will set this server up. It's just typing Ground Zero of Ground, and go to the the broadcast it's a happy fun place channel and there will be the next track for next week so with the up normal temperatures true because temp uh, like uh, talking let, like i want to talk about um i want to talk about the 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 temperatures of the track um and temperatures of the tires because i've i've never felt temperature so uh so good like um the need of having temperature this good in a game the need of something in order to be able to um uh perform because if you have cold tires or if your tires after two rounds are not optimum you're gonna feel that in your lap times yeah you're definitely gonna feel that um even one degree one de one degree will mess you up so it's so important to check out the map, the temperatures of the track True. and the weather conditions. And so, yeah, we've done this this map in night, rain, True. and normal temperatures. And yeah, it, it makes so a I, hell of a um, difference. I, we also yeah. practice rain. Um, what I noticed with rain is that the curbs are really slippery, man. Those curbs. Yeah, if you got the right car, there are. Yeah. If, so you've tried the the Lexus. I'm a Lexus, Lexus fan, man. You can you can hate on you, me, whatever you want, the, man. Yeah, you're the Lexus. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's the freaking easiest car in the game, and he picks the Lexus. So yeah, the Lexus is yeah stable and high, so they can yeah hit the curbs very well. You can bump go over the curbs if you want. But I've tried the Porsche. Uh, I love the car, but it doesn't handle the curbs very well because it's unstable so the car makes a difference here so if you got a stable car you will i think you will improve here and yeah get the best out of it 
So yeah, I just saw a 130 there um, from uh, Andrew Slipper. So that's actually a nice, nice, uh, nice lap time. Um, I'm also going to try to do a hot lap yeah. uh, on board with somebody. Um, the funny thing is, I actually did practice this a little bit in my head. Um, of, of course, I'm going to mess it up, but I want to try this and get better at it because I think it's amazing. Um, uh, like, you know, talking about the corners, talking about what the racer is doing, but also just explaining what he is doing and explaining what he... Oh, I'm hearing a lot of... <laughs> somebody is... Yeah, somebody is testing. I think race control is testing. So... I... <laughs> I can't pop up. But even in this practice mode, uh, we struggle to get a 130 flat. And in this practice mode, they hit a 129.5 from Kim Fugu. And this true. is still a practice. That's true. So... I don't know what times we're gonna hit in qualifying, but anything. David Borak and Boom, can you yes. uh, hear me in race control? Yeah, we hear you, man. Thanks for the test, gear. Yes. So um, fast. Um, um, actually, that's really loud. Yeah. We... I'll, I'll <laughs> it's actually to... really loud, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Use headphones, man. <laughs> uh. All right. So, um, track temperatures. A well, free practice is not is going to be different, I believe. But you can see it's twenty three degrees. The track is fast, um, so I think we will be able to see some good lap times. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not able to see the tire temperatures uh, because I want to know how much. Of how many PSI they're driving on, uh, that will be nice actually. But maybe, maybe next, maybe next uh, practice session we will talk a bit more about PSI because these guys can actually really help you out. If you have questions about your car setup, they will help you out. If you have questions about how to enter a corner, braking points, they will help you out. They're such amazing guys. So 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 nice, dude. Yeah, this is great community to watch and to play with. Everybody is so so freaking nice. So, yeah, every question that you have. So like fastest it. lap time for Kim Furu, then Turi, Slipper, Cruiser, Muir, Tyler, Marnik, Brappet, uh, Cornelius, Rowland, uh, Cervella. All these guys were here on the last race, which is actually nice to see, man. I want to see how they are gonna uh, like this uh, track. Or dislike it or actually gonna be able to talk to some of the racers if they're willing to do it they're not uh, gonna be forced which is optional but it would be nice to talk about some racers about the race about the track about the practice or whatever whatever uh, I mean you know after the race I hope to talk about uh, racers maybe with nine the founder about his experiences it's gonna be a fun day um, Yeah, so we did a few few little updates for for the stream. So we make it stable, uh, more stable, high quality, and the alerts are working now. So that's perfect. So all the alerts are working, and um, and we've got the interview mode. So during we got the interview channel. If somebody wants an in to do an interview during the race. If they got a DNF or whatsoever, or, or they lost connection, they can talk about it during the race. It will be a small interview, but after the race, we get a little break and then we go to the right interview, to the big interview, maybe hopefully with the top three guys, mostly. And yeah, we're gonna show you the live standings from the league. So that's an experimental thing in this stream. So that will be fun if the true, if it true all that. works out. Um, so our preparation for this stream, like we have been brainstorming for many new things. Um, it will like there is room for even more uh, change and more ideas, but um, we wanted to test out step by step because the season is long and we're planning to to actually stay here for as long as possible. Um, because this is such a hype for us and, and Boom is actually really, uh, really into developing stuff, um, 
let's find somebody that's actually on track. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I think everybody is going into the pits now. So, let me see the standings again. Um, these are the standings. So, Kim Fru with a 29.5. Let's see if that's going to be... That lap time is... Is fast. Yeah, it's a fast... It's a fast lap time. So... Yeah, maybe in quality, quali we can see a 128. That will True be that. Awesome. True that. So, mm -hmm. so, so yeah, Kim Fu was second last time. And Louis, we need to watch out for these two guys. Louis was number one la last time at Mis mm -hmm. Misawa. True. Misawa track. So, yeah, and Van Espern was there also so louis is driving in an aston martin he's uh his car number is 60 no 996 um my english by the way so he is in the gzr uh he has gzr in his name so i believe he is in the gzr community obviously he is uh from the community which is actually nice nice to have um solid guys uh driving for the community and uh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna watch one first, and that's Kim Furu. He's driving a Porsche, so I yeah, love that not... car. <laughs> so it's so tri it's so freaking tricky. So I I need to know All right, what so... he's doing. If you can hit it, hit a one twenty. True, with true, it, true. That man, that's awesome. gonna be that's gonna be really fantastic. All right, so let's see who's gonna go out first. Um, I need to change the overlay here, and um, there are some guys exiting the pit lane. Um, we're gonna go on board with a couple guys. Let's see, it's actually, no, oh, it, this one, almost, this one, yeah, I to, I, okay, I'm sorry, man, <laughs> it's this one. Please, I, I I will tell you when you need to switch to Kim Fu. All right, all right, let me know, just, on the stream. all right, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you when, I'll tell you when. So we're now on board with uh, Rowland, he is actually some, uh, he's actually a driver in a Lamborghini, and he is in the M class. That means he's in he's in the amateur class. Um, how, how did he in the last race? Like, uh, what did he in the la do in the last race? Yeah, Mr. Roland. Mr. Roland. Um, I need to check this out. So um, he was seventeen. Ooh, okay. So uh, no, not not that. Wait, seventeenth, but that's not seventeenth in the in, in like that's seventeenth overall, but. Uh, yeah, no, that's in the grid last time. So he did a, he was 17th place in the. Uh, it's the actually, this is, it's, a, it's a, I, I don't uh, think that's week. bad actually. Yeah. No, uh, it's 24 on players uh, at the track, and now it's, yeah, it's 23. Mm -hmm. One dropped out, I've heard. So, yeah, it will, it will be such a fun race. This is such a hard track to overtake. And. Yeah, the conditions will make it harder and harder. So last year, um, so you saw in the hot lap, there was a little bit of rain. It was a bit of True. fun from Louis uh, through to the to the other drivers because last year they had a had a race with a big thunderstorm in it. So this was a little little fun, having fun. So there was not the actual hot lap. But it's nice to know that. Yeah, no, obviously, I'd like to totally agree with you. Okay, Kim Furu. He's is now, now hot lapping. Hot Let's lapping. switch over to him. He's on his hot he's lap. Kim hot Furu, lap. man. I I believe. Oh, he makes a little mistake here, going um, over steery, under steery. All right, let's go. He's going into the third gear. I take this in the second gear with the Lexus. Uh, go on to the curbs. Fourth gear, maybe fifth gear. Is he gonna hit the fifth gear? He's gonna hit the fifth gear. Downshift twice. No, once actually. I don't think he has warm tires now. Uh, now he's going on to the straight. No, I'm not driving the Porsche. I did not drive the Porsche, so I don't know the gears. Brake at the 100 meter. On over the curbs. It's a little bumpy here. Now going on to a curvy straight. Now you, your breaking point is when exactly when the... Uh, so now when the corner is over. First gear is in the Lexus. Second gear in the Porsche. He's gonna, not going to short shift. He... Releases the gas pedal. Now he's going full throttle. Kinda. Ish. 100 meter board. It's second gear for him, I believe. 
No, first gear, okay. This is the first gear in a Porsche. Now, this is this exit here is really important. If you have a good exit, you will take a lot of straight uh, speed. And this chicane is really important. Break at the board. Now, stay in the middle of the corner. Steer in early, so you will have a better exit here. If you're steering in too late, you will go on the curbs, and that's going to lose you some time. And that's a core. Oh, my. Look at that. My! No, what, the... <laughs> what the fuck? He no. did his practice. 128. Point seven. If he is gonna drive these times in the racing, Ooh. like uh, this fast times, but he needs to do this consistent. If he's gonna do this consistent, and then he will be able to take this win for sure. He's gonna. Yeah, let let's check out uh, Lucas. By the way, he's on his hot lap. He's not mm -hmm. tense up front, so. Maybe he will hit the 128 also if he No, but look at uh, but guy, hey, look at Nick, Nick Walker. He has only half a he's only half a second slower there, only half a second. So that's also a 129. Easy man, easy peasy. Yeah, but he he's two tenths down. Look at this 128. When that's really close. Zero. That's really close. From Lucas, that's close. It's so close. So who's? So Josh Morris has given up a bit he's in the pit lane here we are walking uh looking at nick walker okay. nick walker going on the straight has a little bit of a slip screen he's a little che he's a little cheating here a little help from the aston martin in front it's going to be 129.3 which is a solid lap we're looking at the fast guys right now let's have a look at uh pavlicek pavlicek had a really struggling race uh earlier uh at the first race i can remember that he has he has spun I believe, if I'm correct. Uh, he has he has spun once, but he finished seventh on the grid. So, so. yeah. But yeah, and this this track is so hard to overtake. But you need you need a good qualifying out of out of this one, if you want that True. advantage on this track. Otherwise, yeah. So how is the portion exiting corners? Oh, it's really great. It's. It's fast, it has fast acceleration, but mm -hmm. you need to do it right. Uh, if you if you make one little mistake with the Porsche, then yeah, you, you don't have a bad exit or you don't have a you don't have a good entry. So it's really important to hit that keynote okay. with the Porsche. Otherwise it's it's never gonna be right. If you hit it one millimeter mm -hmm. uh, too late the brake. Uh, and you can spin off very easily. So you, so you need so if you're consistent, <laughs> just drive the Porsche, right? Basically. Oh look. At... Yeah, yeah. And like I said, so I was watching Lucas there in the second corner. Oh, Lucas. All right. So this is ja Gen Genado Genoda. Actually, a really nice name there, Genoda, coming in with a 129.5 as well. We're having a lot of solid 129s, man. I was really struggling to drive a 129 high. So 130 was a really fast lap for me. My fastest lap time was a 129.8. And that was in a Lexus. So basically, me cheating can't beat the guy that's driving one of the like hardest <laughs> cars in the game. This this proves uh, how serious these guys are. A 128.5 is still not broken. Lucas Cruiser with half a second. Nick Walker with also half a second. These lap times... Dude, Cruiser and Walker are gonna get in each other's back. They're gonna taste each other's rubber. That's this, this, oh my god, dude. Unbelievable. Yeah, so Anti Turi is going for a new hot lap now. Uh, he's Who? five tenths up. And the, uh, Anti yeah, I'm Yep, yep, yep. 117. Yeah, he's on his hot lap. He's six tenths up. On his time, he did a 129.2 last his best lap. So let's see what he can do. Oh, it's a 128.2! Oh my, he that's dude, that's so, so close, close, man. So Two hundreds of a second. I think he will be able. Like he's driving the Porsche as well. He just needs to find his rhythm, and I think he can beat that time. Not beat it, but get closer. Two hundreds of a second, mate. That's not a big gap. That's not a big gap, but. That means that Furu is actually a little bit more confident in the in the corners, maybe, or a little bit earlier on the gas, or a little bit breaking later moments. Like, 
the, the difference is not big. Maybe the car setup, maybe the confidence, maybe focus. Like, it, it's, it, it's not a mistake in the corner. It's just a difference in braking and accelerating, I believe. Yeah, like I said, it's it's a fun car to drive, but you have to nail it every time. Every time, one mistake can yeah can mess you up big time, and you will lose lose a lot True. of places at this track. I think I think in the race it will be very close, so we can see a lot of cool battles going on. And yeah, th those guys will. So stick we're not we're not no seeing a lot of Bentleys on the on the track. A few here, and this is one of the pro drivers, is Cornelius. And he is on his uh, hot lap here. I believe he's on a 160 and going to the last chicane. Oh my god. One second, one second. No, he didn't. Anti Turi. He's number one right now. 128.3. Oh, I thought he nice. was not on a fast lap and I switched it. I saw half of it. Oh my god, I'm so bad. I was just looking at him. I was like, okay, he's not. He's definitely not going to push another fast lap out of it. But he actually did. You can see on the top left corner corner of your screen it's uh it says plus 0 0.183 that's kim furu's fastest time but he's second place first place is turi with a 128.3 mate that, that yeah let's see what kim furu can do in the last corner no he messes it up completely so he won't hit that time he he had a little advantage but it was wasn't enough he messed up in the last corner real bad so he's gonna give it another go. All right. I'll keep an eye on the times. See if something has changed. No, not at the moment. Everybody is on the outlap. So right let's now. switch over to uh, Jens Kaiser here. Kaiser um, on a, a decent lap. He is in the pro class. Fa fastest lap time is a 130, I believe. Which 136. It's not the fastest. I think he is in the mid grid right now. Let's see how his last, or this lap, he makes a little mistake here over the curbs. Uh, unsettling the car a little bit, that's going to cost him a lot of time. And it's going to be still a faster lap time than his first lap. Uh, three, hundreds, uh, three tenths of a second, I'm sorry, I'm always saying hundreds. It's uh, 130.3, so this is, <laughs> this is a de decent lap, I think he's in the middle of the pack. Let's see, let's check it out. Um, so we're looking at Kaiser. Kaiser. Where's Kaiser? Yeah, 13. So, yeah, as I said, middle of the pack. He is... Um, right now, one of the... Listen. This is hard to say, but one of the slowest, um, pro drivers. Check Nick Walker. Check Nick Walker. He's two tens up, three tens up. He did a 129.1. He can hit the 28 Walker, as why am I well. Not? But the Mem Meme is in front of him. Yeah, it will mess up his lap time completely. Oh, that's so that's so annoying when that happens. You're on the lap time in your hot lap. That's bad. That's bad. There's a guy in front of you, and you he had he had a blue flag, right? Seconds, so he. I don't know if he had a blue flag. I couldn't see him, but. And Nick Walker was on the, on his hot lap, and he was four. four Unfortunately, I was not able to see time. that faster. I couldn't find his name, which is okay. No. Um, but we have. If, if I tell you something, it's all in the top all right. five most, all right. most of the time. Okay. Top five most of the time. That is where the magic happens. Top five. That's such a close battle. So I think Lucas and Nick Walker will go again. Because, yeah, those guys want to hit the 128 as well. Paolo is oh, also going for a lap here. He's going over with a 130.1, actually. That's good. That's good. 130.1. And I believe he is... Uh, Paolo, Paolo, Paolo. 14th number. He is... He's also in... Yeah, he's, a, he's also Paolo in the pro 14th. class. There are still some drivers that did not go out. Uh, no, Wenlock. Hot lap for Lucas. Lucas. Uh, Hot lap for Lucas. He's two tens up, three tens up. Here we go. He's yeah, number three on right now. Fastest lap time, mind you, 129.070. So that's really close. By the way, 
Uh, I want to give a shout out to uh, John Irony, Tony Terrible, S. Klepion. Uh, thank you guys for joining, man. It's such so great to see you here. Criminal Flow, th uh, thanks for being here. McCann, thanks for being here. Uh, S. Klepion, I don't know if I said you. Thanks for being here. Max, thanks for being here. Dowling, I don't know if you're lurking. Thank you guys for actually lurking on the stream, man. Amazing. No, he will lose a lot of time. Check out Kim Fu, he's on the hot lap too. He's two tenths up at the moment. So he could do it. He could take it, take the ball at the moment. That's home. true. One tenth up, he let, made a little mistake in the chicane. The second chicane. But if he does it right Oh, his, now, his car is gripping though to the corner. Yeah, did, did you see oh. that? His car is not sliding. His car just grips on the corner, man. That's amazing. I don't... Yeah, it's all about. So the let's see. He right goes now. on the curbs. He goes a little bit wide. No, he messes his up. No. Ah, it's too bad. Too bad. <clears throat> I think he can. Yeah, I think so. I think so. So Turi so. also in a hot lap. <laughs> there's a blue Aston Martin. No, there's a blue car in front of him. I hope. I think it's the Lambo. No, 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 no. That's what car is that? Nissan. Oh, Antropov going to the side. The blue car needs to go to the side as well. If not, he's gonna block him. Maybe no. No, he's not. So, last corner. Yeah. It's a blue flag in front of him. Uh, a slipper. Oh, he's actually going in into the pit lane, right? right? I thought he was going for a lap. Yeah. No, I think he, he doesn't have the room to hit the qualifying. Maybe mm -hmm. some setup adjustments to hit that few tens or few hundreds. But yeah, it's all about. All about the all about setup. So Dennis Atropo, he's so. going for a lap time here, I believe. Let's see how he is gonna do. Um, let's hit the camera, TV. All right. Uh, um, let's have a quiet moment and observe and just listen to the engine sounds because it's actually amazing. I want to point out the sounds in in this game. It's amazing, man. Like I've never had such a amazing environment in my headphones. The pleasure you're getting when you're hitting little grit stones, when you're going over curbs, when you uh, like when you when you rev the engine. It's such an amazing feeling, and it makes you feel that you're sitting in the car. Like you're sitting, you're having a seat, and you're just driving the car. Like, amazing, man! How they did that. Yeah, I think this is, this game has the best sound yet at this moment from all the all the race driving games at the moment. So that's amazing sound. Well, if you hit the curb on high speeds, that is such an True. amazing sound to, to hear. I, I loved it so much. How's the sound if I keep it like this? Is it good uh, or is it too loud? I think it's fine. It's still quite low. Okay. The thing is, though, in my headphones, it's really loud. So I have the. Uh, I'm. I'm feeling like I'm gonna be shouting in order to hear myself. Maybe I can just put uh, put off one head headphone, and that will help me. Yeah, it actually helps me. Uh, Kai Pachias, number seven, is on his hot lap right now. He's now three till four tenths up. And you Andrew Slipper also, but we have uh, Meme again in front of him, and he actually makes him lose time. No, he does not. That spin does not make him lose time, actually. That's insane. So we're going to... I, I really think the last corner is, is an overtake point, if you have to exit right, because I see... Uh, amazing laps, but everybody that messes it up, messes it up in the last corner. So it will happen in the race also, especially during fights. If you have the better exit there, you will gain a position. That's that's an overtake opportunity. So Andrew here on a 129.3 as well, dude. That this lap he was faster for 1.1 second. Like this is an amazing lap as well. So if I want to look at the grid now. Your uh, check uh, catches, uh, uh, Kai, Kai Patches, number three, 
did a personal best and he's still he's faster right now but he has some so fastest lap time is 128.3 and then 120 uh 28.5 and then 128.6 120 yeah. 129.0 so this this grid is amazing to see here um can you say the the last names that's actually easier for me yeah yeah sure oh yeah i know i know all right i know what you mean let's try that because i'm looking at the last names which is easier for me to find i don't know if that's easier for you though oh i don't care i can shout, shout the whole it in name my if ear, you so you, yeah you can just focus on the last name uh yeah, nobody's as clapping is saying the number the one is winning three tenths um in sector one but losing three tenths in sector three that's just that's like whoa so they could be even faster yeah they, they, they could be even faster so a 128 is possible just a 128 point just a 128 flat is possible but maybe this maybe one setup is not the same as the other maybe the one is one setup is faster in sector one maybe and then the other one is faster in sector three so you don't know um yeah, he is right actually. So if you look at Turi, his his first sector is a uh, twenty nine point seven, and Kim Pu did a thirty point zero. And if you check out the last sectors, well, it has changed a little bit. Um, Turi has a twenty nine point six, and Pu has a twenty nine point three. So yeah, and the middle sector, the sector two, is almost uh, almost the same. So I think it's the cars. Okay. Alright. I'll be right back. Okay, so, um... Public check is also on a hot lap here. Now this straight exit, I'm, I've never done the Ferrari on this track, actually. Maybe next uh, track, uh, it's Zonfort, I believe. Um, I'll drive the Ferrari. Ferrari is a really interesting car to drive. Um, it's a fast car, I believe, from what I remember. But it is also a car that needs to be stabilized. If, if it's like you need to be able to drive confidently with the car. The Lexus is a car that you do, like. If you're not confident and you go a little bit too hard over a curb, it will forgive you. It will say like, "Hey, hey, I got you, man. I got you. No worries." But um, all the other cars, in my opinion. Um, are a little bit less unforgiving but if you can control them well enough um, you're going to be faster than the, the, the Lexus I believe it's, the Lexus is such an easy car it's easy to step into but after you get better at driving your driving skills are going to improve I think it will um, actually force yourself to step into another car a car that's more demanding but will give you a, a better reward at the end Yeah, like you said, uh, next track is Sandport. It, I think you can. Yeah, it's almost the same with this one. Hard overtaking, and at some points it's a little bit wider. But I think it will be amazing uh, to see because it's just dropped in the game in the last update. So nobody has months of experience True. to drive that track. So maybe we will see a lot of mistakes happening or people are trying to develop this setup and yeah it would be so amazing to see what what they can do with such a little uh, exactly true so i'm i don't know i want to lower the volume because uh it's in it's interfering oh with your God. voice in my head uh, in my headphones but it's it's weird that the stream is not picking okay. it up uh i've got it such in update for you 128.0 holy shit how have you not seen that 128.0 for it yeah yeah you 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 were adjusting your oh my god we have no time to adjust anything three tenths three tenths up for kim that's actually no he will not make it so he got the three tenths yeah He's doing the 128. Yeah, he's doing the 128.3. Those. Hey, but Kim Furu actually really improved fast. his lap time, I believe. 
Yeah, we have what pretends. So. so these guys, Turi and Furo, the, like these guys are insane. Yeah. I think Turi, uh, the one the one twenty eight point zero is the fastest. Is almost the fastest lap time I actually know of in existence. I've seen a lap time of one twenty seven point like nine or something on YouTube. This lap time is fast. This is an incredible lap time. I don't know how they're doing it, um, but it's amazing. It's actually amazing. So what is the track temperature? The track temperature is optimum, 30 degrees. Um, temperature on overall is 26 degrees. So it's a nice day. It's optimum driving uh, weather. You can see the sun shining. You see shadows of the, of the trees. It's, uh, it's, it's a wonderful day to, to race here, man. Yeah, I'm checking out if so, so Furu and Turi are not in the same team as I can see. Or his name is Shabo in uh, <laughs> in the team speak, yeah. but mm, I don't know if they practice. I believe together, so, man. Then I don't know. I don't know. Those two guys will true. have an amazing battle, true, I guess. True. Let's check Rowland. Rowland is um... so he is having a third position. In his class, uh, Ralph is the first in the class. Mazer second, and Rowland is third. Smith actually being fourth, and Kukir, Kukir, I don't know how to pronounce that man. Kukir, Kukir, Kukir. Where do you uh, see? He is twenty-one. Yeah, I'm guessing. <laughs> I'm guessing you're right. Yeah, Kukir. <laughs> yeah, we can call him Cookie, man. Let's call him Cookie. That's call better, cookie. man. That's the easy way yeah. to Cookie. All right, yeah, cookie, cookie actually fourth place. Antropov, uh, fifth in the, in the class. Um, I believe it's Meme in, instead of Meme. Let's call him Meme. I think Meme is better. Twenty three, number twenty three is Meme in the Porsche. Uh, Brad, but actually not that fast this time. He was he was he was really fast in the first race in his class, but he is having a uh, not a really fast lap time here. I think he is struggling on this track. Yeah, somebody is mentioning in the chat, hey, what happened to Sidemax? Um, well, Sidemax, Mr. Sidemax himself. You mean Louis? Yeah, we we have pronounced him badly last last week. We called him Louise. So, yeah, we're not able to do that anymore. So, it's Louis. Louis is 10th position right now. Oh, I expected more of him. Wow. So not no hot lappers anymore. I think they have given up on the qualifying. Yeah, the qualifying is over. Yeah, the qualifying. Okay, so is over. we're gonna have so. a break. We're gonna be back in about uh, half an hour. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need some time <laughs> to think about time. our doings, man. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna be back in like five minutes. Um. Four minutes. Four minutes. Set the timer at four minutes. So if the timer starts, we can call it that. A yeah, break. ninety. The lap times are insanely close, man. This race, I believe. I hope nobody is gonna spin off. Nobody's gonna hit the bumpers. If that's gonna happen, this race is gonna be mental. Be right back, guys. Yeah, it's first race. Is be right back. Amazing. <laughs> this, yeah. You wanna say something? Let's do it. Last. No, 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 no. <laughs> All right, we're back, guys. Break, man.
Okay, too long. Uh, so if you're wondering what just happened, uh, the server went down. Uh, so again, the server went down. We're checking into it. Uh, so uh, yeah, it's actually if you wasn't able to just finish your uh, toilet break, you can actually do the second part. We have time. Um, yeah, we were actually discussing stuff. Uh, yeah, this race can be really interesting, and I hope we can continue, actually. I got my water. I got my, uh... My feels. I got my focus. I don't know, man. I'd like to, uh... I'd like to do this race. I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm thinking about what if I was actually racing there. What if I was in that seat? These guys are so nice, but yet competitive. They, um, uh, want to rely on uh their co-driver um as they're building as a family almost um so they would they, they obviously and totally do not want to touch each other inappropriately uh when they're driving um yeah but still on the other hand they want to race each other to the fullest which is amazing to see yeah but I want to know, um, this is our second time, this is the first time that it's happening. I want to know, how how are they dealing with this? Are they going to do a new hard lap? Are they going to do a formation lap where they swap, or swap the uh, drivers to the position? Uh, I think they w maybe the safety mm -hmm. car will pull in front, and they they need position. to swap to their, to their position, and... Yeah, it will be announced when the safety car is going in. So I, I I think that that will happen. So I think Michael and Douglas from race control are thinking this through. So maybe maybe they are hearing <laughs> us talking about it. So maybe oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> I don't know. We can try that. So then, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what they are thinking right now. Has this ever happened before? And yeah, so we lost the connection too. Uh, I must remind you, Burak, um, reset your... Oh yeah, that's true. Too. True, true, true. Reset it. Reset it because true, all the names will that. be there. So reset it. So take it off, turn it off and restart it. And only connect mm -hmm. when you're in the server at I'll that point. That. Um, but I'm sure these guys <clears throat> will have... Uh... 
we'll have a solution to this problem. Uh... Yeah, I think yeah. So the server is hosted not by one of the people, but mm -hmm. by a company, I guess. And yeah, they have to solve it on the spot. Uh, I don't know if they need to contact them or they can just reset reset the stuff or they they will do it maybe um yeah maybe they will set it up right there so maybe michael will set it up i don't know i don't know right. what's gonna happen but something is gonna happen so um i think we'll um uh, we'll go uh Onto the break again. We'll be back when uh, we have uh, when we have heard what the, how we're gonna solve this uh, problem. So, we are back, guys. Um, 
we're back again. As you can see, the lobby is full. Um, I did get a notification that they've got a solution. Now, I'm going to wait um, for the race control. Maybe he will explain how we're going to start. If not, then I'll explain. Uh, it's something like drivers not pressing drive, which will make them stay in the uh, pit lane. And then the formation lap car, or the safety car in this case, will actually exit the safety, uh, will exit the, the pit lane. And then the drivers will follow. Um, they will do probably a formation lap. And after that, they will release the pack. So it's somewhat similar. Um, they're going to swap positions. I don't know how they're going to do that, but um, probably in the formation lap. Alrighty. Nice. Um, yeah, it's still a, fight, a few minute break. So they can set up their car correctly. Because it crashed, so... Need to do it all over again, so adjust the fuels. Maybe adjust the tires. So nobody will hit drive right now. So everybody will... Yeah, start from the pit lane. As you all explained. Right. So we need to we need to wait five minutes before this happens so people can set up the car yeah again. but aren't the track temperatures different um yeah they could be different but i think the server server has set up manually so for the race you can set the server up manually uh in the settings so they they did that they did a fixed Big setting. So I think the temperatures will be the same All at right. that point. Almost the same, almost the same. My camera angle is messing me up right now. So they're saying do not press drive. Once you press drive, you're gonna start on the grid on the grid, but people I think um the cars need to need to be in the pit lane. Yeah, if if you don't hit the drive button. Um, you will start from the pit lane in the race. So maybe when you're on the multiplayer lobby and you cannot do a hot lap or whatsoever in your qualifying, and you start from the pit lane, that's what happens. If you don't hit drive, you will right. start from so the pit lane. So are we able to hit drive or no? And um, yeah, we can hit drive because we right. are spectators. So not that we're yeah, gonna mess up stuff here you know not like oh my god we hit press wait oh press start you know that <laughs> now we're actually spectators in the in the server so we cannot enter so pitlane. for all those who are new in here we're gonna start the race in three minutes um welcome justice in three minutes the race will be starting not the race, but the formation lab will be starting. How they're going to do it, it's up to the to the race control. I'm sure they are figuring out how to do that properly uh, and maintain everybody everybody in their position uh, because the position and the standings right now is not what they were do uh, not not what it was in, on the qualifications. Qualification times were different. The server crashed. Now it is up again. So we're going to drive at Zolder in a bit. In a in a in a small two minutes, so I'm actually hyped about this, man. Yeah, this first first round will be so amazing. So we're gonna do a top view, the helicopter cam, as you see right now, so you can see every battle going on in the first in the first of first laps, that's or two laps, or three laps. That's it true. Um, I are. just hope that nobody is gonna hit each other. Like the first breaking point. Is the bridge uh not the bridge that you're seeing uh where the red lights are but the bridge after that there's a bridge everybody needs to look at that and keep their breaking point inside if one person misses their breaking point i think four to five cars are going to be out with a grid that's this close i think for next time we um maybe it's easier to make a print screen or a clip if somebody can clip it next time um if this happened again, so we have the qualifying standings, so where everybody needs to go. So if people don't know, they can always check the stream and check uh, the clip. Just, 
Awesome. Yeah, that would be awesome that indeed. Would be awesome. Um, Justice, I'm not driving myself. Sorry, I have to speak in English, man. It's an English stream now. <laughs> I, I I don't care, but my noble is in, in the chat. He's fast as fuck. Who? <laughs> he's fast as fuck. Mike Noble. He's he's really fast. So this game, he's really fast. actually honored so, to have Mike, Mike in here. Welcome, Mike. Yeah, hell. Uh, just as I'm not driving myself, I'm commentating on this race. Um, we're just in the helicopter right now, but we can actually switch. To the, this is me <laughs> switching the cameras. Oh, like I can, I have all the cameras in my position, in my power. I am the cameraman, uh, and with me is Boom is playing. We are commentating on this race. It's a league, a league race, so it's uh, it's a long season. Um, every week we have this league race, and. Um, Oh my god, Mr. Get himself! Mr. Get! How you oh my doing? god! <laughs> oh my god, my right pants! Now. I lost my pants! Oh my god, no, wait. Wait. Oh. Wait, Dude, I, I lost my pants on. I, wait, little, little I lost owl. my pants. What? <laughs> Mr. Get in the Mr. House? Get himself! Welcome, man. Welcome, man. Well, yeah, my game just crashed, so... <laughs> Alrighty then, Mr. Git. Oh my god, it's such an honor to have you in here, my man. Shout out to Mr. Git. If you don't know him, look him up, follow him. Pro obviously, you're following following him already. If not, then shame on you. Uh, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But he is um, someone that does ACC as well. He is a really nice guy. Um, really relaxed. Uh, just a, a grown-up man enjoying a sim racing game. It's amazing to see your streams, mate. Yeah, it's fun to watch. It's really fun to watch. So, I got a problem right now. My camera is messed up. So, I have to restart my game. I never get that Who kind of greeting this? from that so prick, I... No Balls. Who is No... Oh, No Balls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Mike. That was funny, man. Git is the ACC babe. Well, let's call him ACC babe then. All right, so safety yeah, car yeah. is actually... Is that safety car? All right, safety yeah, car safety, safety car. car is leaving. Uh, and everybody that is um, going to go into their position is going to go into their position. I have to see who is going to be 10th place. In a bit, we'll follow Muir because I know he is in the top section. Um, he is six. Cruiser, probably seven. So what you're seeing right now is not the race. This is uh, actually a live formation lap. <laughs> you cannot find a better formation lap than this. This is the, the definition of formation lap. People actually leaving the grid or leaving the pit lane, going into, going onto the grid, uh, following the safety car so git i have to tell this is the second time we're doing this i am a guy that plays league of legends um i did some fun friendly um small community league of legends commentary games now i'm not really the best driver actually i'm really bad at driving games um but i just love giving commentary man and this this feels like such a learning curve and and this whole community is is actually so nice and they were looking for a commentator group and um yeah from one came another man so i'm an amateur starting commentating guy uh boom is gonna help me so uh yeah, yeah it's I, I hope it's gonna be fun man i hope it's gonna be fun i hope we can make a great race of this first race it's on the youtube, uh, YouTube channel you can watch it back everybody actually it's just, so i don't know man I hope I can find the words in this race, especially in the first corners. Yeah, the first lap will be great to see on this track. And yeah, I've got a little problem. I need to watch the stream right now, so I have to check back in later. So we've got a little problem. The game. You can't get it back in. No, not yet. Not yet. My camera is messed up. So, so I'm gonna oh. watch the stream for now. Oh, my... Try to commentate on that one. So, a pick, a pick wisely. All right, so... Choose wisely. If, if you mess it up, I'll tell you. Let's see. I was 
always better to have com two commentating. Yeah. Yeah. Always better to have it's two so commentating true. to bounce off each other. That's so true, man. That's so true. I always wonder why you don't have a second commentator on your uh, on your races. Like, isn't there anyone that wants to help you out, or is it just something you you choose yourself for? Profanity. <laughs> <laughs> Get, get needs to be the so, hate, hate I'm seeing it. a message here it's saying tires way too cold. Uh, it's just something that everybody needs to bear with. Uh, it's not something that only one person has to uh, experience. Everybody is actually experiencing this. So I believe the first couple of corners need to be like even more cautious. Uh, let's see. My God, Houston, I got a problem. Wait, I guess. meme is meme is on the wrong position. He should not be in second place here. Why is meme? Uh... Oh wait, meme is all on the way in the back, huh? Is my program messing up? Uh, you can restart it, maybe. No, it's displaying it in game. Mm, yeah, too. it is. I think it will change. Uh, it will change at the next checkpoint, so we have to wait for it. So, I need to. Check there hasn't this out. been a sphere filter Crap. built yet that can contain me. What do you mean? Uh, get there hasn't been like there's nothing that can do that for you or. <laughs> I know, Mister Git ha is, is 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 his accent is something that I um, have trouble understanding. And it's it's not on Mr. Git, it's actually on me. My English is not that good. Um so Yeah, mine either. Uh, the words that Mr. Git is using sometimes it's uh it it doesn't pass through my my own own shitty filter. Just to say. Hey Deadly, welcome. <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. It gets profanity <laughs> Every, book, vocabulary is in. a bit large. I think it's huge. <laughs> not a bit large. it's huge. All right, let's try to focus on this race. They're um, halfway through, uh, almost. I think they're over there, over past the half. Um, I was trying to be nice. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think the last broker has messed me up real bad. Can you look at this cord, uh, maybe just real quick? No, no, no. Um, Tell names, man. Tell names. Alright, no, no, not you, not you. This is Race Control. Uh, do apologize, commentary team, for this mess due to the um, due to the disconnect. We don't know what the hell happened with the server. Uh, we're now going to do uh, one extra formation lap um, due to tired temperatures on the cars whilst everyone was getting into position. Alright, so as we heard, um, one extra formation lap just to tire up the... just to warm up the tires. Jesus, my English. Just to tire up the worms. Let's go. <laughs> Just to tire up the worms. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so one extra formation lap. So first place, Slipper. Is that true? That's correct? I don't know, man. Why is Meme there? I don't, I don't know. Yeah. What? This is weird. It's. I think it's messed up. Yeah, it's still it's messed up. Because a Turi should be on the top. Where's Turi now? Yeah, Turi is at 23. What? Alright. This is not I green light, actually. Know. It's an, it's an extra right. formation lap. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, maybe they will change now. So we have to wait. Uh, I think we should... Yeah, you check, check in closer. Checking closer when you can see the names. Maybe Turi. the leaderboard is messed up. Thank you. So Turi and much. Fury are actually in the lead, indeed. So why is it messed up on the program yeah. then? Yeah, it's messed up because of the formation lab and the pit. All right, so it's gonna be <laughs> really hectic for us following the lap times and stuff, but that's fine. No worries, we will maintain. 
Uh, we will try to do our best. It's gonna be fine. No, it, uh, the fun thing is it already uh, went green. It already went green. And I believe because the starting positions, uh, the whole system is messed up right now. But for one thing we know for sure, uh, Turi and Furu and Patyas, Cruiser are all in the top. Um, that's some. That's just something we need to keep in mind. Actually, it got. It, it did change. Turi and Furi are now. Furu are now in the lead. Patchas as well. So it's 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 fixed now. It's fixed now. No worries. Yeah, for you it's fixed, but for me it doesn't because I'm still struggling with the game now. Uh, go to the next oh MFD screen to see actual positions rather than quality ones. Unless you already did. I think I already did, mate. Mm, not. Sure. What? Oh, yeah, you can try MFD it screen out. is F2, right? Um, yeah, maybe. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That makes it. Thank you so much. Man. So, yeah, also that one. So indeed, one thing to keep in mind every sector time, the, um, the leaderboard changes. So, it may take some time for the leaderboard to catch up on us or uh the same way around all right so we're gonna start almost cars are closed so th the fun thing is so the cars are actually doing like people are doing this themselves safety car is safety going car to go in car going to the pit leader stay under 80 km under 80 kilometers under 80. per hour is gonna go taking the lead here let's find a good position to watch everything all right then and here we're almost gonna go lights are going green go, and go, go, we're go, go, go. off here we go turi having a decent start actually maintaining the position everybody maintaining their position here nothing specially happened there's a little gap there's a little gap coming in Still no accidents. This is amazing. Everybody's taking it really cautious. Oh, Pacha's going for an action. Oh, yeah, there's so actually an accident. Who was that? Now. Can we go back? Uh! Um, it's Mr. Pavchek. 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 Oh, there's yeah, another yeah. one going off. Oh. Cruiser yeah. going off. It's actually one guy in the front. He's going off. He spun. He's probably not going to make it. To the front anymore this is race control safety car being deployed and that's the safety car man i safety car is coming in in again i think there was a serious yeah. crash going on so they have to fix the debris so mr get if you want to join fix the debris clean it up if you can <laughs> no, just kidding <laughs> Just messing around. Ronnie is saying show driver points of fuel sometimes. All right, I will keep that in mind, mate. I will keep that in mind. So the thing is, I have to switch cameras and also talk. Um, so when I want to look at what camera I'm going to switch to, I'm going to miss out on the action points. So um, at time, I will get better at this. But that's fine. So actually, Turu, Turu, Tu, Turi. Oh my God, names. Turi is actually maintaining a gap here. Um, the thing now is keep everything warm, keep the tires warm, brakes warm, uh, keep your focus. That's that's something that everybody needs to do here. Yeah, I'll be I'll be right back. I need to reset my computer. God damn it. Got some serious issues right. with the Thanks, Ronnie, right but I'm I'm not nowhere right. near close on what I am actually able to do. Um and I know that because with League of Legends, it just flows. I just need to find my way in racing commentary. Um remembering names, remembering teams, remembering name corners like this one. It's the little chicane that they're gonna entrance right now. I know that this is little chicane that they're gonna that they're heading at. Uh, stuff like that and that will come over time this is the second race we're actually doing and there's so much to take in um and the the most amazing thing for a driver when going off is actually me 
announcing it and not just missing it out. <laughs> I know that sounds really awkward and weird, but if someone goes off or somebody overtakes, it's my job to announce that and announce it at the best way possible. Oh, there's a cone. There's a cone. That cone is not welcome anymore on the racetrack. Anyways, positions are still maintaining in the top. Cruiser is off. Um, whenever I'm racing and somebody goes off in front of me, that doesn't mean I'm going to maintain that position that I just got for free. Because the guy back, like the guy behind me, might be even faster yet or still and overtake me. Because in racing, I always feel pressure. Always feel pressure. I'm never driving the same in race. As in qualifying, which is obvious, and I don't think I'm the only one having this. But I, I feel like I just make too many mistakes in racing, and that's just experience. Because everybody can drive a fast lap, but it's just being consistent. That's the most important thing, I believe. So guys, if you have advice for me, just like Ronnie, uh, he's telling me to go to personal overview uh, on board. Just like, uh, I think just like uh, this one, or even uh, this one. So... Chat, which one do you prefer? This one? Or this one? I think I prefer this one. But for realism, uh, it's... Uh, I, nah, maybe this one. Not sure. Or... or uh, This one. This is also a really nice one. I know Boom is liking this one. Or we can uh, have selfie mode. Oh, look at that. Hmm, but just looking nice. This is race control, safety car coming in at the end of this lap, safety car coming in at the end of this lap. Safety car in this lap, end of this lap, alright, so we're kind of halfway. Uh, not all cars have the second few available, ooh, I did not know that. But the helmet cam is something that is just a POV, the best POV in my opinion. <laughs> okay, catch me up, I'm... No, All right, so I'm going to catch you up. Uh, safety car is going to be going in this lap, and then we're going to continue the race. You can hear that the drivers are, like, revving up and braking, revving up and braking, revving up and actually braking. So this is to just maintain their uh, heat in the brakes. And the tires. Yeah, I've got some as well right now, so... You Great. solved it or still the same problem? Yeah. Oh my no, god, I thank god, it. man. That's good. <laughs> yeah, me too. I, w I was worried. I, w I had to watch it from the screen, so that would be... Okay, okay, enough. here we go. So, um, chat, keep an eye on the lap times. You can see it. Um, it says A Turi 177, and then there's a 1, and then th uh, 3 laps. If you look down, at, if you look like below 3 laps, there's a time, and that's actually the gap each sector. So, you can look for yourself what the gap is each sector. I'll try to look at that as well. This is race control. So safety, safety car, car lights, lights off. off. This means the cars can drive whenever Turi is... Yeah, the safety car is going right now. Yeah, he's going right in. Now. So, it so Turi is able to go right whenever he's hitting... Oh, oh, he, he can, can decide, decide when he goes. He can decide. All right, and there he goes. Yeah. There he goes, he has a good start for really breathing in his neck. We can see here. Turi breaking good. Third gear. Two Porsches in the three Porsches in the top. Dude, this is this is no coincidence. Is it that just the Porsche is really good? I'm not sure. Uh we can see that Furu is actually driving almost the same line, no mistakes here. Turi actually a little bit earlier on the gas. Ah, uh, Turi going a little wide here. I think uh, Furu's exit will be a little bit better here. Nice helicam. So we have a drive-through penalty for car number 991. Decided by Nick, the game. Nick Walker. So, a drive-through right. penalty for... So Nick Walker station. trying to make a move nice there, but not being able to get to the inside, which actually loses him time. Like, he lost his time, but it also makes the Audi... The Audi Audi? I just, I'm just going to pronounce it in Dutch. The Audi actually in the back had to break a little earlier, which maintains a little gap there as well. So let's go a little bit more back to the... Oh my god, dude, Turi is taking off. Turi is taking off. Turi is taking off here. Let me check on 
to do right now. Oh. I think Furu will catch up at, at the middle of the pack or the end. I think he's slowing down. So you can down right you can now. see this pack here yeah, is yeah, just maintaining its position. I love to see this. These guys are just gonna battle it out. You can see Nick Walker trying to overtake, man. Nick Walker is trying to overtake this Porsche. I believe he's faster, but he's not being able to find a position, find a place to overtake him. The Audi in his the Audi in his back is just breathing. He wants to take a piece of that cake as well. But um you can see that Nick Walker is also making a little bit of mistakes, which makes him slower. I think he should just stick behind Pachas and uh, make make no mistake, just put the pressure on. I think that's the best way. Okay, you can see here, uh, Marnik going outside, showing him that he is there. So far, so good. Yeah, and I think the crash was really big in the beginning. We are having three people going to to the pit right now like Chad Smith, Josh Morris and Drew Meme. He, he just got onto the track but I think the damage was So this is the bad. gap for Turi and uh Furu. We are on board on Furu actually watching how he is chasing um the pole position here. Let me put everything out and just watch just, just look at this. Just kind of going left and right, rather than keeping the single defensive line. Thank you, Chet, noticing it. I don't see anything. Yeah, every, everything, every, everything is just in uh, in a stable position now. Maybe that accident actually woke everyone up. So this is also a pack. This is seventh place here. We're watching Andrew Slipper. I know people in the chat like to call Slipper. Any Slippers in chat? He is chasing Wenlock. Wenlock actually in the back of um, Marnik. Uh, I think Slipper is having trouble keeping up um, with these guys. Yeah, you see Turi is pushing right now. Um, they are all, all the top seven is pushing harder than they can because they want to increase the gap at the next pit pit lane or pit stops or whatsoever so they need to get now once they hit the pin, pit entry the pit time then it will be crucial to have the time extended so gap for furo and turi actually two and a half seconds in sector three uh, two i believe so let's see what the gap is in sector um so start finish line so we keep that in mind every time they go over start finish we will uh, check on in on the difference it's 2.4 seconds so let's see the next round if Furu actually is gaining but we will keep an eye on each sector actually um, let's keep in mind how that goes if he is closing this is race control we are currently investigating a collision between car number 95 and 21 so it's Tobias, Tobias Mazur. Correction, that's car number 95 and 90. Wow, thank you. <laughs> yeah, car number 5. What was it? What was it? Yeah, it was 91 and. 19, yeah. 19, I guess. Me? Yeah, not 95, so Josh Morris. Ooh, and there's an action going on to the inside. So. No, he's not going to do it. Ooh. Blue Aston closing the door. That's actually Genado. Genoda, I'm sorry. Genoda in the. No, that's not Genoda. That's not a fraud. No, it's a uh, slipper. Slipper closing the door on Wenlock. He locks the door for Wenlock. Pun intended. Oh, no, he makes a mistake. That's Genoda in the Ferrari overtaking. Oh, they're bumping. They're colliding a little bit. I don't know what the... I think he has problems. I think we need to watch Louis because he's gained a few positions already. So three positions. Lewis four Mirror? positions already. Doing the few, yeah, he's, he's Oh, right now. on the he's inside, outbreaking, Ferrari guys. colliding as well. There's a little bit of action going there, a little bit touching here and there. He lost two positions here. 
Indeed, Muir, Muir, Lewis, I'll just say Lewis, it's easier. Lewis also overtaking that. He sees the gap and takes it. Now, Lewis is going to chase Wenlock. I believe um, Lewis might be a little bit faster. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But uh, Wenlock is having trouble yeah, with the pace. We saw it. We saw it. We saw it yet. Silvano Ralph is retiring from this race. He has a little bit of an issue. And can I? Yeah, I can check back. Um, retiring, broke panels, only pressing throttle 90%. So he's going to retire from the race. He's in the pit lane All right. right now. I'm actually going to lower the volume because I'm having trouble hearing you, and that's not. That should not. That should not be the case. I don't oh, know if it's sorry. you or if it's the in-game uh, sound. I, I believe the in-game sound is really not that loud. I'm not sure. I'll put myself All right. a little bit higher. I'll check it out. So the gap actually changed to 3.7. We're on lap nine, actually, not eight. No, actually eight. Yeah, it's eight. You can see that the grid is really close. Marnik and Walker are close to each other. Are really close to each other. Uh, there's also a battle going on at position 17. It's Antropov. The two Audis chasing each other. Um, now Antropov. This is race control. A five second penalty was given to car number 95 for causing Ooh, a collision. That's not good. All right, so. Uh, you can see that Antropov and Mazer, they are in the amateur class. They are fighting for second and third position. Rowland is actually leading. Yo, boom. Do you see this? Rowland is in front of one, two, three, four, five pro drivers. And Rowland, keep in mind, he is yeah, an amateur driver. He is in the amateur class. Let's check on Rowland. He is doing an amazing job, dude. He has no pressure from the front, so he, he has just open ear. He can do whatever he wants, but he has Cornelius actually chasing him. And Cornelius, yeah. Okay, if you want, we can we can talk to Savano right now. So I can drag him in, ask him what happened during the race and what happened, why he is yes. retiring. Yeah, yeah, drag him in. So yeah, yeah, drag, drag him in. Can we do it? Yo, what's up, Savano? Hey. Hey, man. What happened? I mean, my start was pretty good. I, I took like eight positions uh, during the, the start of the race. Uh, and I got I got ahead of a few people. Um, and then when we had to restart the race behind the safety car, uh, I had to defend immediately because uh, I believe it was... Um, I believe it was Muir who was behind me. Uh, so I kept defending him, but I've been having trouble with my uh, my car today. Um, it doesn't give me the feedback that I need, so I tend to oversteer a lot and spin a lot. And uh, I oversteered, so Muir overtook me, and then I lost a lot of time. Uh, and two people were battling behind me into the chicane, and I just had my regular breakpoint, and then someone misjudged his breakpoint because he was battling and hit me, which caused my uh, right front wheel to be misaligned uh, in combination with my steering wheel not giving me the feedback i need the car wasn't okay. drivable for me uh, how much no, how many uh bad. days had you had practice on this uh on this track actually if you don't mind me asking i i didn't have too many i think i had one evening at this track um and maybe half an hour uh, oh. in between uh, but I definitely did not have the ability to practice as much as I would. Um, but considering the amount of practice I had, I think my the start of my race went... All right, man. Um, do you want to say anything to the fans at home watching the, watching the screen? Obviously, the fans at home, I, I appreciate everyone watching. Next race will be our home race, so I hope you'll be cheering yeah. for us then. Oh, we'll Dutch. be sporting a we will, we will be sporting a special Dutch. Oh, Hamkas! Oh, nice, nice, nice. 
Nam gas, you ain't dead. All right, man. Thanks, thanks for this interview. Um, yeah, you're amazing, welcome. man. Yeah, you're going actually. So you're you're actually the one fun. going into, into the histories, the books of the book of history. You're the first one that actually interviewed with us. Thank you, man. It was thank honor. you, thank you, thank you. It was yeah, it was so fun. Thanks, thanks guys. man. Good luck. All yeah. right, we're seeing still a battle with Moore and Wenlock. Let me put up the volume here. Let's go back to ten and drive because this ba oh no way no i whenever i watch a, a a battle they just spin each other off man this cannot be this cannot be true this cannot be true maybe a little breaking point i uh, miscalculation i'm not sure but now we're gonna see probably an investigation in that one we'll see uh we'll hear uh race control on that one um uh, oh my god in the last there's corner of Pachas. Yeah. Somebody made a spin. Somebody Who's made a spin. Yeah, Katjas has spin in the last corner. You can Re do a replay, replay of 30 seconds. If you want. Yeah. yeah First yeah, time we're going to try a replay. So we're going to see a replay right. here how Katjas actually lost his position. Oh, he got spun. Oh, what is this? What are we seeing There's here? One. There's another one. Nick Walker has just spin off also, so he just spin off Mr. Uh, what was his name? <laughs> Goddamn, Mr. Pachas and Nick Walker had the same thing in, in corner three, I guess. So, Andrew Ship Slipper is now at third position. He made Mr. Nick Walker slip, and Nick Walker made the other guy slips so it's a really bad battle here going on right here all right uh yeah we're streaming man it's stream. an amazing stream man my sister just coming in <laughs> asking for the bird i don't have the bird i'm racing or at least i'm watching the race all right um yeah i i think it it wasn't intentional so yeah it's it's such a shame yes, that that happens right. because um the one that actually hit someone from the from the back um in the race car obviously Oh wait, somebody is... Who is that? Who is stopping? Alright, so somebody that's I'll hitting check, a car um, from the back, it's just his, in his head he is still, like a couple laps or corners at least, he is still in his head thinking about why he hit him and how he is going to say sorry. He's already on his knees asking for forgiveness while he is still racing. So that's really messed up, man. Yeah, we need to check this out because the pit window is open right now. So some people can take advantage of this right now or just wait. Let's see. Who's Cruiser actually best. battling it out with Cornelius. Cornelius is Cornelius must feel this pressure. Cruiser is a much faster driver here. And it should be said here is all right, Cruiser. Cruiser going in, he's gonna look for an opportunity, going to the inside, gonna break a little bit late, yes he is. This is going. race control, we're currently investigating a collision between car number 188. He's still gonna try, I think he's still gonna uh, try to go to the inside in the next corner. No he is not. Yeah, I'm, I'm checking Let's go on board name it is. with Cruiser. So he's gonna go third. Third gear, um, not full throttle here. Fourth gear going to the five. Look at the hundred meter board, and then he's probably gonna break if he's gonna over try to overtake a little bit later. No, first gear, not too far over the curbs. It will unsettle the car. Now this exit is really important. Let's hope for a good exit. Corneli is actually in the middle of the road, so he is giving him an opportunity. He's going to the inside. He's gonna do it. No, he's not. He gets it back. Now good exit here as well. He he can tried to do it here actually with the slipstream the this straight is long enough we're gonna see some action here here we go on the outside in a side mirror here oh they collided a little cruiser is trial he's he kept it he kept it oh you can see a lot of cars actually losing it there this is race control a five second time penalty will be applied to car number 96 for causing a <laughs> collision so lewis Murray. He gets a five second all right. penalty. All right, all right. Like control. I think because I know the race control, and he is actually a really sensible, like sensible. Uh, he is a really. Oh wait, hang on, hang on. 
Cruiser, Cruiser got him from the uh, in, inside, outside, outside, inside. I don't know what he did, man. That was a magic trick he did there, but he got it. Now, Cruiser going on to the ne next opponent. Next gladiator on the track in the arena. Rowland, it is. Cruiser actually on a really great pace. That was a nice battle. Nice feel here. Four cars. Cornelius may may try to just maintain his pace and uh, and try to follow Cruiser through the pack. I did that actually with one race, one hour race. As one guy was a little faster, but with the slipstream, I was able to just stay behind him, stay behind him. And after a while, he just spun off. So, for example, I'm Cornelius and Cruiser is the guy in front of me. I just maintain my pressure, maintain the breaking point uh, pressure zones. And just be in his mirror and at one point he will make a mistake he spun off and i got i just got an open area i just i i was flying then i had the confidence my tires were warm enough i had enough fuel and i was flying man i was flying yeah i'm checking out a few gaps in the top three they are still fighting for the third position so the gap is closed there uh, julian Marnik. He's fighting for the third, third, third or fourth position. So, yeah, it's so close there. Yeah, it's we so can close. see here Wenlock is actually having still someone breathing down his neck. 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 But Wenlock neck. is far enough not to feel the pressure in the corners yet. He makes a little mistake. He goes wide. This is going to... Oh, the flashlights. Oh, the nasty flashlights. Oh, he's going to give that position. I don't know why he's going to give it. Maybe he doesn't feel confident about this corner and he just gives it to Moor. They are teammates, probably. I think they're teammates, right? These guys are driving more often um, with each other. So if one is faster, it's better to just let him go. If they're teammates. I believe they are teammates. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, but... For, for now, a slipper, he was in the top three. He's going in the, into the pit lane. Some nice pit POV in the pit lane. Now. So he's the first, he's the first guy in the, in the top five that pits right now. So I check this out. So he entered the coach. pit lane in what position? <clears throat> yeah, he entered the yeah, pit lane right now. All right. So, so he's, he's now. I think he only, yeah, he only took fuel. He did not repair anything. Um, oh wait, he's stopping. Why is, he's stopping. Why is he stopping. Oh, is, oh, he no, 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 he lost a lot of time here. A lot of time, man. Why did he stop? I don't know. I, wa I want to know too. Maybe we can ask him that. That would be nice if we what? could like know why he stopped. All right, so Furu and Furu and Turu. <laughs> Furu and Turu are, st yeah, Furu are still Furu. battling. The gap has been closed to 1.1 second i believe turu turi is not being able to pressure that much maybe he made mistakes or furu has picked up the pace not sure here uh fastest lap time of furu is a 129.7 fastest lap time lap time of turu turi is a 129.3 last lap time of turi is 130.1 west last lap time of kim furu is a 129.8 so he gained three tenths of a second there i think that's i, I think Furu is picking up the pace. I think that's it. Second gear here. Not too much of the curb. Really consistent. No bumpy curbs at all. Oh my god, dude. These guys are fast. Yeah, for what I'm seeing, Furu is closing the gap right now to enter Turi. So I think maybe a pit, pit window strategy or... He will extend it. I don't know. Let's see what happens. True, true. That that's really interesting. That's a really good um, thing think. of you to notice. Maybe he is just gonna try to push the last tires, and um, maybe he will pit right now. I'm or the la or the right next now. lap. I don't know. Yeah, he pits. He oh, happens. nice boom. Yeah, he's going for it. You have a magic ball or something? How did you know that? It's obvious. Yes. No, no, no. You can see him pushing. You can see him pushing. 
for that outlet. All right, so, so now we want to see where Slipper is because I think Slipper was really close on um, Turi. No, Furu. Um, I think they were really close to each other. So let's see where they are going to go. So Furu actually still in the pit. He is still in the pit. He has not started hit pit lane. Andrew Slipper going on to yeah, the straight. Furu. Almost. He, no, no, no. He's... He's in the second chicken. This is He's going to be close. Chicken, so. Maybe not because he lost some... Slipper lost some time here. I'll check who right now. So you keep All an right. eye on... I'll keep an eye on Slipper. Slipper. Okay. Yeah, I came through with exiting the pit right now. No, he, he won't make it. I think who will stay in front of Mr. Slipper. Yeah. Little little battle going on in the second one. Second corner. Yeah. Oh, that's a huge gap. It's a big gap. Let, let's wait. What? Yeah, no, let's wait for it. Let's wait for it right now. Let's see what anti Turi is going to do. He's so the gap is, the is about corner. six seconds. And he might have lost that six seconds. Maybe two or three seconds. Oh! Pavlicek almost losing it there. I think his tires are gone. I think his tires are gone. Let's watch it back. Let, look, I want to look, look, look. See, see. He loses there. A lot of oversteer. Oof. I think Antituri is going for the long run. He's still out. And he hasn't responded to the, to the other guys. Maybe he hasn't noticed. But I think he's... Yeah, but Turi also having a lot of cars to overtake, man. A lot of blue flags might, might like that may cost you a lot of time. It... Yeah, I th I think if he hits on uh, multiple blue flags, uh, one he can overtake. But if he hits in like uh, mm -hmm. four or five cars, he will go into the pit. Yeah. Okay. Right, right All right. Away. So okay. So he, he doesn't want. That's true. Time. True. So he's going to extend it, I guess, before he hits the next pack. If he hits the next pack, he will go into the pit. He doesn't. One thing to notice here is, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. One thing. Th one thing yeah, to no, notice no, here no, is no, that over. Slipper is no wait. Rowland is still ahead of a lot of uh, pro drivers. I'm not sure if this is just an, a coincidence. But if Rowland is able to keep this up and maintain a lot of pro drivers behind him, he might just say like, hey, hey, uh, 90, get me in the pro class, mate. Hey, how about that? Okay, keep it on Kim Furu right now. Anti Turi is going into the pit right now. He's halfway into it. So Kim Furu and Anti Turi were so close. It's... It was almost a second, I guess. So let's see who's done it right. So through fifth position now. I think. Okay, I'm Turu. watching into Turu. Turi. Did he's he start pit his right pit lane now. or no? No. So, uh, he's in the pit right now. So there's a big chance. Furu is going to be able to do it. That Furu will. Yeah, he's... Yeah, Tori maybe do made a lot of mistakes by take, doing yeah. a extended couple of laps. Where is Tori? Yeah. Where is Tori? Yeah, he's he still did. in. He did it. Yeah, no he's way! Tori is still in. He's going out right now. So the best call for Kim Fu was to go in earlier. And yeah, anti Tori has lost is... a lot of time there. I didn't know. I don't know what he was doing. So I'm gonna note it, uh, what he was doing in the pit lane, why he was struggling in it. So maybe too much fuel, too much. Yeah, may maybe. Damage, yeah, uh, maybe he got maybe suspension he left damage. on because uh, you have to uncheck two markers. Actually, you have to uncheck suspension and bodywork reparation. Uh, reparation, yes. And maybe no, maybe he changed tires and Fru didn't. That's also a possibility, man. We can see maybe uh, Fru losing a lot of time and Turi actually changing changing tires. That's a possibility. We don't know. We will see in a little bit if Furu, uh, Furu's lap times are going to drop off and they're going to start going to the 31-ish. 30, Yeah, let's say 31-ish. And Turi is going to maintain in the 29-ish. He might be able to 
uh, close the gap in 24 minutes. I'm not sure. I can't calculate that fast. But he sure has a plan. Because we know that Turi is actually faster and his... Um, the gap is now 23 seconds. Yeah, so keep in mind, uh, Louis Cruiser yes. still has to pit. So you can see who has to pit with a 1. Um, so you can... Yeah, Kachi... Kai, Kai Pachas is now in the pit, so Kim Fu will overtake him, I guess. He did it, yeah. I think he did. On the second corner right now, yeah. So I'm I'm seeing still Wenlock, Kaiser, guys on 14 and 15, they are having a battle again. I'm not I don't think they're actually battling each other. They're just driving their own race, man. What do you think? Yeah, I'm looking out for some cool battles. No, but these guys are always together. They're not battling each oh, other. Sorry. They're just helping each other out. The first guy is faster, probably, and the second guy is just following him. It's a really smart way to actually drive as a team. These guys are a real team, man. Props to them. I don't think they're racing each other. They're racing with each other to just... Can, can you tell uh, me the name? Wenlock the name? and watching? Kaiser. Winlock and Kaiser. So Owen Winlock and Jens Kaiser. Oh, Winlock. Okay, I'm gonna check it out. Um, why do they... They need to have the right, right names in the team speak. No, don't but don't you have that, uh, oh, um, so um, that document with all the teams? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check it out. Take your time right on that, man. You don't, don't rush it. There are not a lot of battles happening right now, if I'm correct. Let me see on the times. Actually, Furu, Furu, Furu is, man, he is. Yeah, Lucas Cruz is going into the pit right now. He will lose position one. We know that already, but look at the, look at the gap, at Kim Furu and Enti. It's seven or eight seconds. If I'm right. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, you you are right. You are true. Th that, that's correct. That's correct. So, Furu did an amazing job. No, but... Uh, at that pit stop. So, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. How long How long run? was Turi in, uh, the, in the pit lane? Nine seconds or... Yeah, I, yeah, he was longer in the pit lane. Than so, I think he Kim changed Furu. tires. I think he changed tires and 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 Furu did not. I think so. because I think so um, let's look at the uh, uh, lap. Uh, let's see, let's see. Let look at let's look at the lap times of Turi. Turi, Turi, Turi. Jesus, man, these names. I will say just Anti, Anti and Kim. Anti <laughs> is so Anti is the one that we're looking now. Anti Turi, uh, number two in the Porsche, uh, car number one seven one one seven. His last lap time was a one thirty. Now he is gonna go for I don't know, but the last lap time of Kim, the guy in first, him, it was a 130. So almost identical, but now. Yeah. To come back on your question, so like Jens Geiser is on Side Max mm -hmm. Motorsport Austin and Wenlock is at OM Motorsport. So not on the same team. All right. Team. Hey, Not I think I same. think we got I, I think we got the answer to our question. Look at this. Anti is having a 129.5, yeah? You got that? Boom. Alright. So listen yeah, up. I got it right now. Listen up. Kim. Yeah, Kim actually up. has a 130 130.2. 130. He is seven tenths of a second faster the last lap. Yeah, but wait for it. Wait for a few laps. See what happens. Maybe Two or three laps. See what happened to the time of anti Turi because the tires are, yeah, they're all great right now. So, but wait so, a couple of laps. So the pit window is closed. So I'm gonna check it out. Um, everybody pitted, so nobody gets a penalty or safety car did not. That Lol. one. No. <laughs> <laughs> Teddy, what you doing? 
Yeah, but I think the race yeah, is man. going I'm seeing Pavlicek is actually chasing uh, Gennaro. Are they team members? They're both driving the same colored Ferrari. They should be. Pavlicek, Gennaro? Gennada? Gennada, yeah. Gennada? Yeah. Pavlicek. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna check it out for you. So, Philip Genoda is from uh, FIFO Racing and Pavlicek. Let's see. Let's see. Where is he on the list? I oh, think... we're gonna see some action here. I don't. I don't know if they're just letting them overtake each other, or this Ferrari is just way faster. Pavlicek overtaking Rowland. No, uh, Genoda. So easily without even defending. I think they just gave that position. I don't think that Pavlicek has a team. Oh, they oh, are yeah, on the same team, probably uh, team orders. Yeah, they're in the same team. Yeah, same, same livery, team. same team. All right, makes sense. Actually, same actually, actually yeah. makes sense. People All right. Racing. So Pavlicek sixth position, sixth position. Um, is he going to be able to find Cruiser though? Let me see. The gap to Cruiser is now six seconds. Where is my mouse? Here it is. So Cruiser now going on the straight. Let's see when he breaks where Pavlicek will be. When he is hitting that corner, Pavlicek is starting the starting the straight. So that's actually something how I how I want to find the distance. I just put a marker and I just see where I am compared to the other guy. Well, you can, we can also look at the time difference, but let's say you don't have a time timer. That's how, that's how I, I think that's just the usual way to look where you are compared to the other one in the next round. So, so far I do enjoy the race, but I'm getting a message on my mobile phone that, um, freestyles is saying, man, what a sloppy race. I want to know why. Yeah, maybe, maybe in the middle, in the middle or... Cornelius is actually having a battle here. Well, let's go on bar with Cornelius. We didn't, we didn't say it was the best race. It's a fun race to watch for us. It's the second time uh, we do this, so... It's a more closer battle than, than last week. So we got more battles so Cornelius and Roland are now Roland is gonna not go for it eight. he's not having a good exit so first first gear second gear third gear onto the straight break breaking mart is when this straight when this uh straightens up right hander oh my left hander he's getting really close here if, if his exit is gonna be good here, he can overtake Rowland, maybe on the inside. He can outbreak him. Let's have a look. I don't think so. He's gonna try it. Indeed. No, he's not gonna go for it. If this is, if his, but still, if it exits here, exit here is gonna be good. He can still go for it. And this exit seems to be a little bit better. Although the Lamborghini is just taking off, man, on the straight. It's a really fast car. So you can see that the Aston Martin is a little bit better on the brakes. Um... A little bit more stable, but the Lamborghini is just taking off. Even in the slipstream, the Aston Martin is not being able to maintain the pace. So Rowland is a little bit safe here, unless um, Cornelius is going to have a good exit in the next on the next straight. So second gear, go to the curb. Do not hit it. Maybe hit it. I'm not sure. Also, a thing to notice. Um, if you hit the grass here on the left side, like right there, on the like the sand, that's gonna cost you half a second. Say goodbye to half a second here. So 100 meter Borg, even later. So you can see that Cornelius is not taking it really safe. He wants to push. He's breaking later on the breaking points. Roland actually going wide, and he's giving the position here to Cornelius. I think Rowland is just going for a safe move here. Um, knowing that he will maybe have a collision with Cornelius and not picking up this battle. I need to check something out. I'm trying to calculate if 
Tiro can catch up to Kim Fu because what she said was right. Um, Fu is doing 130s low and Antituri is now doing a 129.2 mm -hmm. constantly. So he is 19 seconds behind as the game shows. So I'm gonna calculate if that will be possible because if it's possible it's gonna be in the last true laps, true that the last lap I guess. But keep in mind though, Furu is gonna um hit, we don't know how fast his tires are gonna degree, so um let's say he cannot maintain the pace in the 130s and he's gonna go to the 131s. Turi is gonna still be able to keep the 129s. So I think he is gonna gain position faster and faster. I'm not sure. It depends on how how stable Turi is on this track. We know that Turi is faster. Okay, I can check it out. Maybe, maybe I can. No, I can't. Damn. I was trying to see if I could hit the timetables and check the times, but yeah. Okay. Nah, so um, no there's not a lot that's of happening right now. I think this is a great moment to tell the guys that after the race. Um, we're gonna try to have a lot of a couple, a couple interviews, um, which is really nice. We had our first interview ever in the GZR uh, league race, and I think people will like this idea, man. I think people will like it. Also, um, one more thing: after the race, when it race when the race ends, we're gonna go to Zandvoort. Um, we're gonna practice that track. We have three servers open. One server is the server where people race, so the race server. But we also have a happy happy place for uh, the commentary. Um, <laughs> yeah. So that's Boom and me just following each other on the track, always practicing, um, getting to know the tracks, because that's something we really need to do. So if you want to practice and um, have no feeling of proving anything to anyone, just feel free to hop in there and uh, yeah, we can actually have a really good conversation there. Yeah, it will be fun to see more people joining that server. Uh, it's not fully up, so it's not 24-7. But always every evening when we when we go live, when Borg is this live or I am live, we will set up this lobby. So if I'm home, I'll set the lobby up. Set the lobby up and you can all practice it so and you can meet some of the drivers true man it will help true. you out if you ask them <clears throat> so i'm still calculating so yeah nt2 is doing uh, some slower lap last run but he, he's still doing the 129s yes. and the fool is doing the 130 so i think it will be difficult it will be a difficult Difficult thing for him. How is it? Is it so much better to just keep your tires then and not switch tires? He might have made, he might have mistaken. Like he might, he might have made a mistake and um, kept the change tires um, and accidentally changed yeah, tires. Maybe he was. Yeah, that's possible. But it can always can always be that he's intentionally doing it. Mm -hmm. so he's trying something. So it's a it's a big gamble. The pit stops are a big gamble in this game. So if you mess it up one yeah, time, that's you true. mess it up good. But I think I think yeah, he pit up maybe too, too late. late. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I I think so. I think he did it too late. If if he did it early, and he switched it during mm -hmm. Fubu's pit stop, then he will gain the position back. But I think the gap is too big. Yet a lot, a lot of positions for the blue flaggers and yeah, true. It's too much. It was too much, I guess. So giving some love to the amateur uh, class. Let's go all the way to the back. Chad Smith. Oh, he's in a pit. I'm sorry. Um, meme. I'm sorry for that. That was not on purpose. Um, let's see. Meme is still on track. <laughs> he is racing. No one here, I think. No. 
He has yeah, damage though. Say. Kevin, Kevin Roland is doing yeah, great man. as an amateur. He is doing fight. really good. He's in ninth, ninth position right now. He's, he's, doing he's even really, doing better than really some so, pro drivers. Yeah, it's um, he kept one, two, three, four, five, six, six pro drivers behind him. So Cerevella is now in the pit. Sorry if I'm pronouncing you wrong. Cerevella, Cerevella, yeah, so Cerevella. Six to right, yeah, yeah, Cerevella. Yeah, we need to, we need to practice this one. <laughs> so yeah, he's doing a great, great job. Nine position. He's still maintaining the gap, so guys will maybe push for it because as a pro driver, you will never want to be behind or finish finish behind the amateur so driver. So <laughs> everybody is doing the best. So uh, I'm getting some messages in the in the um, in the inbox right now. Um, let's see, Freestyle is offering us um, a, a lap guide on Soundfort on our server. So not a hot lap, but just a lap guide, which is amazing. Um, thanks for that. Uh, Ronnie is asking night racing. The race is gonna continue for eight minutes, and I think we're gonna see see some headlights popping on. I'm sure we will. Yeah, the headlights, the headlights, it's getting darker right now, but this weather is set to dynamic. So last year there was a big storm and heavy mm -hmm. rain and, and so not, yeah. They, yeah, 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 that's true. Now. That's true. One thing to have this. Yeah, so it can change. It also, can change. Uh, boom, can, can you tell me uh, something about the difference in nighttime racing and daylight racing? What happens to the tires and temperature? Wow. Oh damn! The temperature drops so fast. So uh, we started on yeah. 25 degrees. Uh, the track temperature temperature was 30. Something 30 like that. Degrees. Yes. Right now, then. So it's now 22. So it will get harder and harder on the tires. So yeah, less grip. And yeah, who can maintain it? Who can? Who can keep the focus? If you don't focus right now, you're you're screwed right basically so one true mistake is true crucial. that man true that so the thing is who did um practice on cold conditions because i actually did i i did practice a race uh not race but i did practice a little bit on cold tires and trust me man it's not it's 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 not a nice uh car to drive even the lexus which is basically cheating this game uh, it becomes almost unforgiving. The car is just sliding everywhere. Your braking points are not the same. You just miscalculate and you want to co correct your mistake and that's going to cost you even some more time. So it's it's really hell. You, you, you need to be able to maintain your tires as long as possible and just give in on colder tracks. So um, another question is, are the pro... Yeah, you want to say something? Boom. Yeah, I want to have no sentence so go go for it yeah okay it. okay are the pro drivers legit individually better players or are they also driving like faster cars no they're legit individually better faster no not faster maybe yeah yeah they are faster they some are, are not faster. yeah some they're are not some fights. are not faster yeah, but not more fast. consistent it just depends on overall performance i believe but yeah, it's overall performance. How can they maintain their laps, and how consistent are they? Let's say they are, those guys are, they have the same times, so they have the same lap times. And some of them are faster, but they're the pro drivers are more consistent, so they will, yeah, they will improve better than the amateur drivers, I guess. So they they will stay on track more than the amateur drivers all right um there was another oh some nice information here the race is simulating a six hour progression in one hour that means eight minutes in real life is uh 48 minutes in game so eight minutes in real life is 48 minutes in game which means it will be darker yeah it's going to be dark and we are actually seeing already some headlight headlight headlights. yeah it's going darker right now 
I like to drive in night times, man. If I can just set up my tires to be a little bit decent, I prefer driving nighttime because it's so much more environment. It, you're so much more immersed in the game. You, you, you feel a lot more seeing less. Does that make sense? Meme actually spun off there. Um, yeah, it, it's fun. It's fun to drive at night, but not, not when it's your first time. If it's your first time, then it's so messed. Oh, meme is doing. What is he doing? Who? Oh. Yeah, meme was just off track. I'm telling the you, man. The, the the tires are getting colder. He's driving a Porsche. Yeah, he's off track again. So who overtook him? At this point. Yeah, he was a back mark, so he had to had to go away. Where well, he had to make room for Fugu. So I think. All right. So three bad. more minutes into the uh, race, I don't think Furu. I don't think no. No, Turi cannot make it. No. Fourteen He's seconds. Too far behind. So what was his gap seconds. before he? Twenty-one. So uh, he 21, did. Twenty-one. No. Yeah, he did improve a bit, but. It I mean, was, it's also. It is not. Hey, I mean, it's My also a thing for Furu. He can just maintain that gap. Just not push really hard. Keep the tires at a nice temperature, but do, do not take any, uh, you know, any any major risks. Yeah, I think, I, yeah, you can see it on the timetables as well. They're like, Turi is still pushing, but the times will drop a bit. So Kim Fru is w doing a 130. So that will be half a second right slower? Uh, the last time, yeah, and half a second yeah, slower right now. And anti theory is a 130 point also. So yeah. nice thing to see here is actually how uh, the sun is going down. You can see some some really good detail on the track. You can see how the immersion immersion is going to start. Uh, you're really focusing on your braking points. You're really one with your car. You need to be. And even those dash cam lights. They really bright up the atmosphere in your car, man. You you feel like you are in that racing car. It's amazing to drive at at night times. I love it. Yeah, it's so fun to drive. It's so realistic at this game, but it can all. Also yeah, it can. It really can. Spe it, it really can because if if it's getting dark, you true, don't see true, anything. true that. So we're seeing a battle happening, not a, ba a battle, but. People are closing on Roland and Wenlock. Uh, Wenlock is a pro driver. I'm trying to find them. Uh, their position 11. Owen. Ro uh, Roland and... So Roland, the white Lamborghini in front, is a amateur driver. Just uh, to remember you guys. The car that we're in sitting in right now is Wenlock. And going on to the inside and might have a chance to overtake him here. Needs to go back to the slipstream because Roland's Lamborghini, as we know, is a little bit faster on the straights. He's going to outbreak him here. He's going to try it. He is in. Yes. There's a little bit of collision here, I think. And we were seeing some headlights. I don't think this was a... Cl nah, it was clear. I think it was clear. Ro Roland did... Overtake? Got overtaken? Clearly? I don't know. I think he uh, he is not happy with that one. Sorry, can't give a lap guide tonight. Steering wheel just broke down. My force feedback motor broke. Happening quality as well. I think it's completely dead now. That's too bad, man. What steering wheel do you have for uh, freestyles? Yo, a big shout out to Roland, man. He is maintaining to uh, put some pressure on the pro drivers, actually. Yo, what's up, race experience? Welcome to the channel, man. Welcome, racing. <clears throat> yeah, he's doing great, man. Yeah, the leader is on the final lap, so if Kim Food Kim Food doesn't make, make a mistake. So we were seeing a DT on no. Lewis. What happened there? What does DT mean? Oh it's yeah, like he had one, right? But he got another one, or? Yeah. I don't think so. Hmm. I hope not. Not on the last round. 
He has a fourth position. That's actually really nice. If he needs to go through a drive through right now, he's going to lose a lot of positions. So no battles going on whatsoever, actually. Maybe Slipper? No? Is this a battle that we're watching? Yeah. Uh, Louis, Louis gets a drive through penalty for... Oh, uh, yeah, man. Yeah, the true. I had the same it. problem. The, the track, as we said, as we said a lot of times, the track is getting colder, so your braking points are getting messed up, and you're going to get mm -hmm. drive through penalty because you're just sliding through the corner. You can't stop it. Okay. Let's watch the leader go go into his final lap. He's now on the last corner. Kim Furu is winning his first race. So the second race, the last race, he was second, and now he's first. So congratulations! There we to go. Him. There we go. Hands Kim down, baby. Furu. Yeah, there he goes. Well done, Furu, nice man. Work, first race, second place. Now first. Yeah. Amazing job. Maybe some team needs to hire you up, man. Yeah. GG. Yeah, Ronnie. So anti Turi had just finished and we are waiting for Andrew Slipper. Yeah, Slipper. He's oh, the, the fireworks. Right now. So he's gonna... Yeah. The fireworks is amazing in this game. Yo, you can actually see the fireworks from a couple corners before, man. That smoke will just go everywhere. Yeah. It's getting so dark right now, so the fireworks are amazing right now. Let's see if we can find a last battle. I don't think so. The race is actually getting over. Winlock is having... Someone chasing him, actually. Are they still racing? Cars? Kaiser and Winlock are at it. They are still going at it, actually. Last couple corners. Maybe Winlock will force a overtake here. I don't think so. One last corner. Kaiser actually maintaining that core position. Yo, Wenlock coming really close. Don't lose it now. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so we have got one one person in the interview already. So there will be an interview. Ah, uh, nice. The race. So that to all the drivers that fun. want to have an interview, especially Kim, Anti, Slipper, you guys got the got the podium place. It will be really nice to have your uh, opinion on the race. Also, 90, if you have some time, hop on the interview section because this just adds up to the atmosphere, to the whole event, man. Nice race. Happy... Yeah, I need to ask. I need to ask him what his name is in. Yeah, Julian Marnik. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, really hard. Names, it's man, yeah, it's names really hard. So Julian was in 11th position. We can ask him right about now for this race. So, yeah, we can do it. Can we do it? Maybe just for fun. Uh, we don't see the top so three who, at the moment. So Julian, 11th position. In. Yeah, yeah, 11th position. He was position uh, right pro now. or M. So, he finished 11. Um, Let's know. see. Let's see. Uh, really? 11. It says A, ta a Taylor here. Oh, people a are Taylor. actually closing, so I think it's... I'm not sure if... Uh... Yeah, we need to ask right. him. Right. We need Just to hop him in, him. man. Okay. Okay, we're gonna hop in. And Mr. Oh, oh no way, he's gone. gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh, so we have Peeps, we have Julio Monik and Chad Smith. We still have the timetables. Check this out. So let's ask uh, Peeps right. in. Just, just get them in, man. We'll ask questions. Yeah. Is Garmin? Peeps, oh. I need to. Oh, oh sorry, Peeps. Sorry, that's Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. J please tell me, who are you in game? Because uh, Peeps is not your actual name no, in game. No, sorry, I'll change. And your slipper in third place! It's Mr. And. Oh, dude, I, w I, w I wanna ask you something. What happened in the pit lane when you exited? You stopped. Uh, I stalled. Oh. I stalled it stalled? in the pit yeah. box, and then as the car got moving, it was like, yo, by the <laughs> way, uh, nah. <laughs> nah, just don't do it. What the hell? No, we, we were actually watching you in the pit lane. And you actually stopped, and we were like, "What? Yeah, what is he doing?" Kind of, so. kind of embarrassing having uh, someone in my chat because I'm streaming this as well. Um, Oops, thank you for the name. But like, 
By the way, they just showed you stalling it in the pits. No. <laughs> 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 You know when you just go, ah, oh, no. <laughs> so, yeah, um, so what are your thoughts on this whole race, like completely? I'm gonna ask a couple questions. First, I'm gonna start like asking, like, what are your thoughts? What are your experiences, especially at the end of the race? You're seeing the sun go down. The track is getting a little colder. Obviously, I don't know if you felt that. Probably you did. Yeah, I definitely felt that. I was running um, tire pressures fit mm -hmm. for the start of the race. So the start of the race, it was about 37 degrees track temp. And then, so I had my tire pressures significantly lower and I closed my brake ducts off so I wouldn't boil mm -hmm. the tires so I could keep grip. Uh, two safety car, the safety car start and then the safety car instantly after that just was like, oh, by the way, track temp. Yeah. Don't have that anymore. So from there on, I was just watching yes. my tire pressures decline keeping temperature mm. but i was sliding a lot more so for me it was an actual battle to keep the car on track quite a lot um the rear would slide the front wouldn't grip up so on <laughs> all right but so yeah, it was uh, a good race third place yeah, was, was uh, congrats race. on that again um thank you yeah i have so many questions man what am i gonna ask <laughs> what am i gonna ask <laughs> yeah we could uh, we all, all right so time, um so. i do i have one question though next next track zonford um it would be nice to actually hear a prediction from you what place are you gonna end oh that's a hard one it's a track i'm not very good at so i'm i'm gonna say i'm gonna quali at least in the top 10 and finish hopefully in the in the top higher end of the 10 so about right. nine to eight boom are you nine noticing this is where i want to finish <laughs> i know are you are you know are you like uh, writing it down somewhere so we can we actually can uh can uh, oh, uh like okay. get him back on it if he just does not qualify top 10 and you know yeah we can actually say like oh my god you're you're the worst oh, yeah. no i'm kidding i'm kidding <laughs> i'm kidding <laughs> okay um i just want to test something out right now yeah okay, you yes the i'll do screen to interview all right. I want to test this out. Let's I wanna see let's uh, let's not hold you here any right longer. Now. Enjoy your know. third place, mate. Okay, thank you, and You're welcome, man. The interview. Yeah, thanks. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. Interview overlay. Here we go. Yeah, I want no. The standings hasn't been updated yet, so these were the last standings right. from last week. So Julian is in. The All right. Let's go to Julian now. So we're gonna yeah eleven place eleven right. place by the way. What's up, Julia? Julia? Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, we can hear you, man. All right. So, Julian, right. um, first thoughts, man. Eleven place. Yeah. How did your race go? Yeah. Um, I'm not happy with the result. I was in a third position when I pitted. Um, was quite good on the pace. But I had a bad pit stop. I hit the wall, and that caused me a bit of damage. Mm -hmm. So my pit stop took a little bit longer. Then I rejoined the track, and then I I just dive bombed, crash, and I've got a lot of damage. So my race pace from then on was kind of yeah, it's bad, unfortunately, man. But um, um, what was your mindset actually on uh, after everything happened? Were you like, yeah, shit, I just effed up my race, or were you like, come on, man, keep going, keep going? You know, you don't know. Maybe you can get some points, and every, any point I get is just good. At the beginning, after after my pit, I was like, yeah, I can fight back. Because it wasn't too bad in the situation. I had like 10 seconds to make up, but it was quite quite okay. My pace was good, but then after the crash, I was, I was a bit doubting to uh, to retire, actually. But, I, but my uh, mate, uh, Ralph was saying, uh, just go on, you know, go for the points you can get. And... Uh, so Ralph is your and teammate, right? Yeah, he retired. Oh, okay, so uh, you, 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 your team still got some points, which is nice. Um, boom, you got some questions? Yeah, I'm, I'm just doing the live standings right now, so I'm trying to fix that. So it's the first time that we showed the live standings, but it doesn't... All right, doesn't um, I'll go right to the next now. question, actually. Uh, Zonford, what do you expect from Zonford, man? Well, I'm a Dutchie, so uh, oh, I expect, I expect, to, have, I expect yeah. to have a party over there. I'm going to try my best right. to, uh, to get up there. All right, man. Um, 
Yeah, you want to say something to the guys on TV? Maybe uh, have some uh, shout outs? I don't know. Just support our team, man. <laughs> Memo racing. Memo All right, racing. there we go. That's thanks for this interview, yeah. mate. All right, you're welcome. Yeah, thanks, man. So I'm watching right now the overall championship, but I need to know if this is true. Let me, let so me any interviewers out. left? No? Let's see. Uh, uh, Pavlo. No. Oh, yeah. Right. Pavlo. Pavlo. All right. I'll recommend right now. All right, Pavlo. Yep. Mic test. Pavlo. Hey, how you doing, hey, Pavlo? Uh, there. Oh, I'm fine, man. Got a little, a little bit of a cold there. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, sorry it took so long to what? get you in here. Um, thanks for participating, first of all. How did your race go, man? What were your thoughts? <laughs> to be honest, my race went really bad. I was off my pace so much. Uh, from practice to the race, there was like one second difference in time. Um, I honestly don't know what happened uh and for sure the sketchy start of the server was a little mm -hmm. bit uh, confusing to me and yeah i got involved involved in quite a few incidents so yeah right. unlucky for me today um did you in like did you at least enjoy the atmosphere or um like everybody being you know together at least um the efforts like any positive uh feedback to the event Oh, definitely. I had some good races uh, out on track, especially with uh, Roland, mm -hmm. I think it was. Uh, like in the last part of the race, um, I was catching up to him once I catched up on him. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen that. I've seen that. On the straights, but it was just crazy. I was like, okay, I'm going to catch him in this corner. Oh, yes, I'm on his bumper. And then we went on the next straight and he was like three car lengths in front of me before the next breaking zone. I was, I was like... What True. The, I've, we've seen that on TV, there. so you can watch it back actually, and we actually commentated on that as well. How do you, what, what do you think about Rowland's um, performance here, man? Because you were actually chasing him for a really long time, and he's actually a am amateur driver. Um, yeah, to be honest, uh, I really wonder that an amateur driver made it that far up the grid. I don't know how this happened, but maybe he is uh, in oh, the wrong knows, class. Man. I don't know. We're uh, not pointing any fingers to uh, 90, but... Um, Maybe under the table, nobody sees the finger pointing. That maybe, maybe, maybe somebody's <laughs> missed position, mate. I don't know. Um, this is only one race, though. You can't judge someone's uh, skill level by one race. Maybe he did practice a lot on this track. Who knows? Oh, perhaps yeah, and maybe the car is made for that, or he just find Perfect. the final notch on his setup to uh, to let the car suit him real good on this track. So um, let's see how he will uh, yeah, perform man. on Sunday. Right. Um, thanks for this interview. I hope you're willing to do the next interviews as well. It's really nice to talk to you, man. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you for the streaming. You're doing a real good job. That's in the Thank pocket. You thanks, mate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you guys. All right, we're bye seeing bye, Michael. Um, are we going to interview yeah. him or are we just going to. We can just skip him, man. Let's just we, skip him. Yeah, we got. We got <laughs> yeah, let's get Michael. No, we got one problem. The leaderboards are messed up right now. It isn't working like I intended. So if you can just. I'll send you the mm -hmm. link right now in, in the chat. If you can just click it and get it on I'll the screen it. because. Oh, this is the docs where you can see all the standards in all the right. summary. Uh, please check and uh, please check it out. Um, my leaderboard I'm is not, messed oh, up okay. right now. I'm checking. I'm checking the wrong tables. So we've got the overall championship, the AM qualifying, the AM championship, and the team championship. <laughs> so Kim Fool is actually into first position right now. So we can see. I'll try to fix it. All right, so uh, standings, Kim Furu, yeah. 152 Thank you. points. Okay, All right, let's first interview Michael. Michael? Michael. Yes. I messed, it, I messed it up the, a bit. The founder, <laughs> the founder of, this, um, of, of, these, of this event, of this whole organization. Uh, what are your thoughts on the second race of the second season, my man? 
I don't even know where to start. <laughs> I really don't. Um, uh, seriously. Bonk. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to watch the stream back to actually properly watch the race. I've I've spent most of the evening just trying to um figure out what happened with the mm -hmm, we had mm -hmm. the obviously the server crash. That just really that put mine and uh, Danny's stress levels into oblivion. Um and I think that I think that's why we had quite a quite a few issues at the start, I reckon, uh, mm -hmm. because of that server crash. Some of the drivers probably lost focus. Yeah, and then it when the race starts, they're you know they're bit. really kind of you know they've lost that mode and therefore start making big mistakes and crashing into people. Then we had the safety car, and then uh, I know there was then some collisions after the safety on the safety car restart. We didn't see it at the time because Danny mm -hmm. was still driving into the pit lane, so he wasn't able to spectate. I was having I was like watching one part of the track. Um, next week we're gonna have. Our um, our third race controller, um, because yeah, the way the 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 sides of the grid and stuff, it's yeah, just a that's true, too much work true. for the two of us to manage. Um, and this, I mean, Masano was fine, but this race really highlighted, you know, Danny and I were <laughs> right, at times struggling to really to keep up with everything going on. Yes. Um, I think yeah, there's going to be a fair few um, steward inquiries. I think to go through. I think a lot of Drivers' emotions are running mm -hmm. really high right now because there are some very good, quick drivers who have had some, who've had a terrible race, and uh, for whatever reasons, and you know their emotions True. are all running high. And I think you know, they just all need a moment just to. Hey, but this is no. Down. This is the <laughs> like racing is almost a. I don't want to say it, but it's almost like a full contact sport, man. Like cars are gonna hit each other uh, if you want it or not. Like nobody can read others' minds perfectly. One breaks earlier than the other. Accidents happen. I think it's just something to accept and actually try to learn um, and take it to the next uh, next day, next racing day, and and just anticipate on that because everybody is here to have fun. Everybody is here to have a laugh. Everybody is here to compete. But with a good heart and good 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 manners. So there's I I don't think there's anyone to blame uh for this. Um, uh, like honestly, I think everybody, a lot of people had a blast. Let's say it like that. Yeah, things happened like this. So it's all it's, it's all it, as well. So it's it's a long season. Uh, I think some drivers are forgetting that you know this is two races, and you know on season one. Where we you know we'd now be a third of the way through the season. On this one, we're mm -hmm. we're only a quarter of the way through. You know, there's still six more races to go, and True. so much can change. And you know, I think, um, you know, with with Zolder, we raced in season one. Masano, we didn't actually race that in season one. So, so it's kind of like the some of the tracks that we're going to now, Zandvoort aside, mm -hmm. we've been to in season one, and I would expect to see some of the drivers who are, who are further down the table right now and maybe not had the greatest start. Mm -hmm. Expect to see them recover as we go to the tracks that you know in season one we saw them do really, really well at. So those drivers, you know, they just need to think. You know, it's not over. You know, the tracks that they were winning True. and doing really good at last season, True. they're coming now. This this was one new track and and Zolder last season was uh, had a thunderstorm so the finish, finishing positions on Zolder last season were all over the place as well so yeah I think it's quite quite intense going through. So the, another uh, question is uh, Kevin Rowland. Um, I think you're this, I, I think you know where this question is going to go but what, what, what let me ask this in a really um, uh, soft way what 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 do you think is um, his performances are or were today. How can you? Um, I, yeah, didn't, I didn't get to, I didn't get quick. to watch him much, but I saw where he finished. Um, yeah, he's he's done really good. He's got himself up into uh, what eleventh place or is it eleventh place overall now? Because of his high place position uh, finish, he he gets mm -hmm. a lot of points in the overall tables. He's got himself right up to eleventh and Antropov as well up into thirteenth. So. Two, you know, really high placed AM drivers. I mean, two of the um you know, the top two AM drivers from the first race from Misano, they they both ended yeah. up dropping out of this race due to um 
different problems respectively so it would have been interesting to see how they could have done as well had they not had uh, had their issues and had to retire but yeah well done to kevin i'm impressed with how he's, he's now done. leading the um, am championship by the way he, yeah living in the am championship and the highest placed am overall he's yeah. like some of the pros as well so so well uh, if he if he if he, if he keep so if he happy. keeps this up on zone Ford as well are, is, is that gonna alert your uh radar maybe he is in the wrong uh We'll carry out a review on the, after right. the fourth race. Um, so after uh, Nurburgring, if there's anything that we look at and think, okay, there's there's a driver who's clearly in the incorrect category, um, then they stand. But there's a possibility they may get moved. Um, but at this moment in time, still too early to say, because we all know how someone can have a good and a bad race. So. Um, yeah, we'll we'll have a review after Nurburgring. It may be that everyone stays where they are. It may be some drivers move. Some won't. All right. We'll have a look. Um, any last words before we end today's show? Can the drivers stop <laughs> crashing? <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, Masano, Masano was actually really clean. If you think Masano went the whole race without a safety car, just uh, yeah, this this race was. Uh, was a bit of a mess at the start, but as I say, I think that's probably the server crash. Don't think I don't think that helped. All right. Um. Yeah, I think our job's done, man. When is our uh, paycheck? <laughs> 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 yeah, whenever I get mine. <laughs> no, all jokes aside, man. Like, I believe, like my perspective. I've heard everybody's perspective except for Booms one, but I think I know um, almost what he's going to say, but. For me, today was even better than last week, um, considering all the minor um, troubles we had today. Um, I was able to do a little bit better job, in my opinion, with uh, focusing on the camera, and, you know, finding stuff. We actually managed to have a replay of a couple guys getting off track, so that's really nice. Um, some overlays uh i don't know it's it's getting it's getting better even for a second race yeah for a second race it's still getting better and it gets better every week so we will try to improve it every week so and i i hope that uh, mr dowling is here next week so yeah it'll be a lot of fun well i look forward to watching the uh watching the stream back i'm sure he's a great yeah, me too, because actually I <laughs> didn't see much, <laughs> because I di didn't have the stream open, and uh, the uh, game crashed during the start, and it messed things up for me uh, big time. So I had the wrong camera view, I couldn't do anything for like the first 10 minutes, <laughs> so it was real messed up for me. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it too. Okay, I think that's it, we're going to end it. Yeah. All right, man. We're gonna do it. Um, thanks for this interview. Uh, <laughs> time. Okay, so a little shout out to everyone that followed today. Um, Pompas, Mister, Mister, Mrs. Silent Move, uh, Sinatra, Mister Dowling himself, Kakashi, uh, Ronnie. Man, thanks for being so active in the chat. That was really nice to have you. Freestyle as well. Thanks for being so active in the chat. It was really nice to have you. Thanks for the follows, guys. And uh, just a recent bet, Moneru. Thank you for that follow. I really appreciate. Uh, re I really pre appreciate yeah, thanks, that. Mate. Also, Criminal Flow. I see you lurking and being really sarcastic in the chat with all the ca kappas. Like, uh, <laughs> I love you, man. Darkness as well. Thank you. Clap. He's 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 off to bed. Everybody's lurking. Thank you so much. Boom. Any last words? I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna train the, the next round. So I'm gonna train the next track. Woo! Also, yeah, also Kakashi, thanks. I'm excited. I'm scrolling up uh, and I've missed a lot of messages, man. It's too bad. It's like I've missed a lot of bad messages. That's fine. Dark Venom, I don't know if you're still here. Thanks for watching, guys. Everybody. Love you. Bye. Peace.